Where do you think you're going? Nobody's leaving. Nobody's walking out on this fun, old-fashioned family Christmas. No, no, we're all in this together. This is a full-blown, four-alarm holiday emergency here. We're going to press on, and we're going to have the hap, hap, happiest Christmas since Bing Crosby tap dance with Danny fucking K. And when Santa squeezes his fat white ass down that chimney night, he's going to find the jolliest bunch of assholes this side of the nut house. <laughs> so freaking bad wrestle me <laughs> welcome everybody to juice pro wrestling episode 216 Ade, do it dumbbella give me the power i beg of you that's right give us the power this week to get through this episode without one threaten the not so savage wah, wah. homie the juice and bruiser bodie are with you for this special holiday edition of Juice Pro Wrestling Podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah! What are you sipping that's on, Bodie? That's, that's the sound of freedom. Uh, Wicked Weed Brewing. Per, perny. Pernicious. Pernicious India Payella. Sweet. They had one. Uh, I had like a, a variety pack, and they had one called Dr. Dank. That was my favorite. <laughs> yes, I like it. I like them already. Uh, <laughs> this is tasty. I'm, Going with Sam Elliott to the mountains Sam of Coors. Elliott. Oh, yeah. The Coors Original, a.k.a. Steve Tortorello's favorite brew. Huh. Coors, Speaking of Steve Tortorello, beer. dude, we got, a, we got a lot to discuss today. Coors, First and foremost, thank you, everybody, for beer. checking out our episode last week with Jasmine St. Clair C. from XPW and the Crazy XPW. Train Podcast. XPW. XPW. And if you guys haven't checked it out yet... What you you jump on it, do it, and share it with your friends. Be sure to hit like and subscribe right now and rate and review wherever you find us on the podcasting platforms. All that shit's out the way. Hey, yep. got a cold hey, drink. Yo. It's cold up here in the Peter North Pole, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I feel sorry for you bastards. <laughs> not really, but I do. Oh, man. dude, It's cold down here. I'm not going to lie, dude. It, it was uh, like 40s and 50s for like a couple hours in the morning and overnight. And then it warms back Cody, up to the shut 70s. The fuck up. Get the fuck no. out of here. 40, nope. I wish it was 40s and 50s. Nope. We're looking at a fucking storm You're looking in at Chicago blizzard land. And shit. Talk about a fucking blizzard. So I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas wherever the fuck you are, wherever uh, your geographical me. location Bundle may be. Bundle up. Warm yeah, up and snow up. But hey, I was mentioning Florida. Steve Tortorello at the top of the hour. The banquet beer. Fresh off of Warrior Wrestling 26. I All can't right. I wasn't able to attend because my oldest boy's uh, birthday party. I, I've i seen some stuff. I know it was a fucking great show. It was a banger. You guys can go back and watch it on. They are a, exclusively on Pro Wrestling TV right now. It's a free app, I believe. So check oh, that out. I don't have any spoilers for you because I don't know. I'm thinking Sam Adonis went over on uh, Johnny Warrior, Johnny Mundo, John Morrison, which will lead to... Him, Sam Adonis, challenging Vikingo in January in South yeah, Bend. Yeah, Vikingo. Vikingo, which I will be there in South Bend. So I'm looking forward to Warrior Wrestling 27. Back to the band, yeah. South Bend. That's but right. other than that, man, Bodie, we got yeah. a lot of fucking shit to talk about. A we have a lot to talk about. Crazy stuff has been happening in the world of professional wrestling. So right now, just feed me some of the, the haps, the going oh, ons, oh. if you will. Oh. Sure, dude. I want to let's lead off with this because I saw this earlier and I had a chuckle and I was like, you know what? I really want to talk about this. Um, about one Enzo Amore, Ugh. if everyone remembers him. Huh? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, Enzo he's says he's doing shit huh? MLW right now, right? Uh, he came out and he said that he can destroy MJF on the mic, and MJF is a one trick pony. And he was like, I don't have to resort to, uh, what do you call it, RC Cola, a.k.a. Cheap Pops. Ooh. To uh, He was like, I didn't have to swear in 10 years to get over. He's like, I had the fans chanting for us. He's like, I even made up my own my own term, S-A-W-F-T. So, hey, I was a mark for that. But, no, it got me thinking. I'm like, yeah, maybe MJF does grab some low-hanging fruit, but he's goddamn good at it. 
So, uh, in my opinion, I wanted to see what you thought about this, but um, I don't know, dude. I don't know, Enzo. You were okay on the mic. That was about all you were okay on. Yeah, um, Mike. Mike wise, that's about it. I mean, yeah. in ring, not so much. Good thing uh, you had the hot take. Yes. When we were out uh, in Texas last oh. year, we went down to uh, oh. Palais Pro. He made a surprise appearance that I didn't even know anything about. Um, and I guess it was – I've never been a big fan of the dude. I thought he was funny when he'd do the little skanky thing when yeah. he's doing his gimmick because he just reminded me of, like, Ren from Ren and Stimpy for some <laughs> reason. Um, but I've never hugely over on those guys as a whole, you know. I mean, and we can get into the – W Morsey, you know, AEW is doing the renaming Big Bill. fucking shtick now. Yeah, Big Bill. Big Come Bill. on. Come on. It, it would have been all right if you uh, if you didn't already have him on your program as somebody else, you know, as W Morsey. What the fuck? I like W Morsey better. I do. I do too, man. And I'm not even a huge fan of uh, what you would call it, Morsey. <laughs> I like it. the Smiths, if you will. The band. Um, the band sucks. I mean, maybe he, I think as much as I don't like him, though. He might have a point. He might have a point, man. Puff, puff, pass. I'll Look at puff this guy, that dude. Yes. Bit. What is this? Is this puff? Is this puff, puff, pass? I think it is. Hold on, while I... I didn't know we changed segments, nah, but that's funny that you say that because uh, it would fit in there. I was thinking that too. I was like, this would be a good puff pass uh, topic, but dude, that intrigues uh, me. You think he might have a point? I'm intrigued. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, let me puff on that a little bit. Merry please, please enlighten Christmas. me. Smoke me up. I, uh, he has a point when he says, you know, uh, MJF, yes, he's very good on the mic. Does he get the cheap pops? Yeah, he's guilty of that. Um, that. Even though I do like him, he's he's good at it. He's a very abrasive. I think Enzo has a point though, where he's talking about you know I don't have to swear or do any of this. Enzo's quick. I will give him that. He's quick in the head, quick man. Witty. Like he can come up with some shit. You know, he does the fucking rhyming game. He's a fucking rapper, so you got to be quick if you're doing that shit, especially off off the cuff. You know, soft like balsa. I think it would be interesting. Do I think he could straight serve him? It's a possibility. It's a possibility. But, I mean, I'd like to lean more towards MJ up, just tearing him apart. It, it would happen. be very interesting, to say the least. You know, it's hard for me to pick one or the other. And, like I said, I don't, I don't really care for fucking Enzo. But, I mean, dude, he can talk. Yeah. Yes, he can. Yeah, he does have a talent. Um for Gab, that's for sure. He can, uh, right on top of his head, come up with something, gimmicks, um, names, one-liners, galore. Um, I'm on the side of the fence that says that if it was him and MGF in the middle of the ring, yeah, that would be amazing showdown promo-wise. But I think MGF could just destroy him. I think there's so much that you can grab from Enzo and just make him look like a, like a little bitch. But here's the but thing, though. And you're right about MJF, but I think the X factor is, in that is now, say you put Enzo in a spot where he can swear and he can say some outrageous things that like MJF has been known to do. Yeah, he's it's in a kind different of a level playing field, and yeah. I might catch a little heat for that. But you know what? I give no fuck. no. You're right. Level the playing field, playing field a little bit. I still don't know. I think Enzo could. Uh, he's got a little bit more. Um, vocabulary to grasp at if he was in that position and i, I think, hope so um, i mean like it's sick oh, you yeah. want to be a rapper and you don't have a fucking vocabulary to you play <laughs> off done words for, dude. and shit done for him. yeah he's got he's like ludicrous he's got potent potholes yeah <laughs> but a greasy but, butthole yeah that too um yeah i think he would hang i think he could hang he couldn't hang in the ring but i think he can hang on the mic for sure excuse me and that's that and that's that yeah but um i would give give the advantage to the MJF. We interrupt this wonderful episode for a short word from our shoot sponsors. Check out Slowpoke Toys to see an ever-expanding collection of toys and collectibles. Treat yourself and get something for you. Need to get a gift for a special somebody, a buddy, a friend, a loved one, a coworker? It doesn't matter. 
Visit SlowpokeToys.com, the manufacturer of toys and collectibles you never knew you needed. Well, you kind of, you know, you're talking a little bit of AEW here. I am. Um, I am talking an AEW. I know one of the things you're itching to talk about was the fact that, uh, and this is something Terminator. I kind of did this year with our show. I felt yeah. like it was time to do it. Um, you know, kind of oh. a fresh coat of paint. Let's see. Um They've been talking about, uh, I, I guess, what is it? Tony's been in talks with the network or the network's been in talks with him. Like, hey, we yep. kind of think it's about time to maybe, you know, change the entrance way or, you know, the ring or colors, the scheme, whatever this it is. They, yeah, just give it a fresh coat of paint. Have it look a little different. And I feel maybe, yeah, it's time. It's getting, I dare I say, stale, but... Uh, it's good to, to freshen things up. And like I said, with, with the show this year, I, you know, the graphics and everything, I usually did everything was its own individual thing. And then I went this year with more of like a thematic thing, like, you know, with mm -hmm. the backgrounds and all that shit. And I've tried to, you know, throw a fresh coat of paint on that. So I can't, yep. I can't necessarily argue the fact that it wouldn't be good. The only thing I would get as a fan especially as a, a Mark fan that I think a lot of people would act like this, like, oh, you know, they completely suck now because they changed. <laughs> you know, the ropes are red now or Brr. whatever it will be, you know. Rabble, rabble, rabble. I mean, you'll get that, and I feel some of that pain because it, it does. It's it's a different AEW. It's different, it is. man. And it's it I still love it. I still enjoy it. I hope so. But I'm not going to lie when I say it's like, man, I don't really feel like it's I do and I don't. Like, it's must see tv though every week you know mm, mm. and that's just me that's just how i feel personally like i i could tell you i've loved and this is going to be another transitional thing here in a second i've loved the best of seven series with the young bucks and the lucha bros but like that's been the only thing to really kind of turn me on you know like wow this still reminds me of like what aew is and was and supposed to be you know and MJF's been cool, but I mean, I love the stuff with him and Ricky Starks. Yeah, but I don't know. It's still and it's and it's good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it sucks, but it's just not grabbing me like shit was early on. You know, oh, so yeah. and that's just me. I know. You know, I understand where you're coming from. Um, yeah, changing up the look of Dynamite. Um, I haven't heard him say that it was Rampage in the pay per view yet, but starting in January, they were going to change it around. And I think, yeah, change is always a good thing, especially. Uh, they've been on the air since what 2019 now yeah pretty much same music same theme same look same intro yeah i think it's time to uh glamour it up a little bit see where they can go what i'm more most intrigued about is this michael mans uh mansory they hired yeah the dude uh, that worked for wwe yep, he was he the was uh what else co-executive producer and a senior vp he was supposed um, to replace Kevin Dunn. Yeah, yeah, he was and, like going to be Kevin Dunn's successor, pretty much. Yeah, and they were, he was kind of feeling like, well, you know, Kevin Dunn probably wasn't really high on him, probably because he knew that hey, they're grooming this guy to take yeah. my spot. He came up in the company quick uh, to an executive years. spot, and uh, from what I read and gathered, that this this Michael guy uh, kind of felt that hey, you know, Dunn wasn't done. <laughs> yeah. Uh. You know, like he wasn't going anywhere anytime soon. No, you know he's not. So I think um, he took a break from wrestling for a hot second. It he was, did. You know, I forgot what else he was yeah. producing or doing. Um, yeah, my mistake. He's actually going to be the co-exec producer and senior VP in AEW. In WWE, he uh, was the VP of global TV production. Yeah, yeah. And then he left and he worked on the Ma uh, Pat McAfee show. And That's then he it. also, yeah. And then he also did some uh, work with uh, One, that MMA production called One. So he did uh, work there too. So I can't remember anything. anything. Can't tell it this true. Yeah, dude. Um, I'm very interested because with you know a resume like that, um, it can only help your company. I don't give a shit if he came from the E or not. It's it, you know, that's for all the fanboys and basement jerkers. That's what I uh, like. They can argue I mean, over that, but yeah, you got to yeah, bring in someone like that, man. You want executive wise, product? dude. You yeah. need someone yeah. that has experienced success exactly. in global branding, like they yep. have global branding. Yeah. And with you know Pat McAfee's show that grew. I mean, his show grew a lot. He's and a millionaire, the, dude. Yeah, and one, not just because of football. Casey Cat Cat scared the piss out of me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he came up, had butt in my leg. I was like, what the hell? Was it one of Teddy Hart's cats, cats? bro? 
Yeah. It's one of his show cats. Fun job, pricks. But yeah, I'm stoked. I can't wait to see what uh what kind of changes. Um but I you know what? I'm really gonna touch on this real quick too, because I kind of agree with you with AEW doesn't have that same stroke as it did in the beginning. I still enjoy it a lot. I still it's yeah. for me, it's I have to catch it. But there's been times where I haven't caught a whole dynamite and I periodically watched over the week, but I might not watch the whole thing. And yeah. I never, I don't go back and watch it like I used to. Right. Right. So, I mean, I'm not saying it's trash. It's just like one of those things where it's like in the beginning, it was like that. Now for me, it's like, if I miss it, I miss it. I'll catch some of it. I'll read more about it. I mean, yeah. But do you think that's also too, like, I mean, we're older cats, but we ain't that fucking old, you know, no. like, I, I think a lot of people are brainwashed in how they consume entertainment nowadays. Everything is a fucking reel or a highlight or a clip. And that's what draws like viewers and whatever. And everybody has, has such to. short attention spans. It's like, are that's we why. being like, you know, brainwashed into that? Yeah. It's all started when, uh, you know, I was uh, knee high to a grasshopper and I was on my dad's lap back in the eighties and him just channel surfing and switching channels. Yep. That's where it all started. And now that, I'm just flipping through apps and now I'm flipping now through you're reels. Like one of the fucking <laughs> cool dudes, you know, right? Yep. Just like surfing away, bro. Yeah. Yep. So our generation, that's where it came from. Our dad's channel surfing and they passed down that, that trait to us and we're passing it down to the next generation. Now yeah. it's all 10 second TikTok. So we did this, America. We did this, the world, everybody. It's our, our generation's fault. Sorry. No, I'm going to blame it on the generation before us because there you go. they didn't have to channel surf, really. They could have just left. No, you can't Oscar surf between, you know, one and five. Fraggle Rock. Gonna do? You know, I was digging <laughs> Fraggle Rock. Down in Fraggle Rock. <laughs> Down in Fraggle Rock. Down in Fraggle Rock. <laughs> Cast your fears away. <laughs> <laughs> like a brutal version. Of it. Down in Fraggle, <laughs> Fraggle Rock. <laughs> ah, death Metal Fraggle Rock. You gotta love it. Um, yeah, that's all I really gotta say is, like, I still love the product. I still love AEW. Um, it, sometimes it's can't miss. Sometimes it is. I it think it feels I think, like there's a little chip in the paint, you know, I mean, a little bit, but I a think, little ding and it's not, it's not just because the punk situation, it, no. it, it's a lot of different things. You can it tell is. that it's changed a lot, dude. There's so much more talking on TV. You mm -hmm. even got guys like Moxley and shit referencing that, you know, like there's already enough talking on this yeah. show now. Like I get it. You got to get your shit in, but I don't know, dude. Yeah, I think also, but they're getting back to it. There was a point where it wasn't a lot of homegrown talent. Yeah. There was a lot of guys already made. Yeah. Um, while that does bring in other eyes and casual viewer eyes, too, from the other products um, that you want, I think a lot of homegrown f viewers and fans that were there from the beginning wanted to see all this homegrown talent, all these indie talent. Well, yeah, start they've driving wrestling push. fans have experienced what happens when you don't do that. It's called yeah. WCW. Exactly. They have they had like a handful of who could you say was like their homegrown talent? Booker T, D, Booker D, T. Goldberg, yep. Sting, and Jericho and up to a point. Jericho, well, yeah, to a point, you know, but he was getting big. I think if he would have been pushed yeah, right Luger. Yeah, I been. think Luger was made in WCW more so than WWE. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, Bunch but those cheeks. are and you could go through WWE's line, you know, hey, throughout the fifty two plus year history of it or whatever. There's, oh yeah. The biggest names in the business. The biz. Nas. <laughs> Any more shit on uh, AEW you want to rap about? Hell yeah, I do, man. Shit. Uh, I got I got something for you. So, um, where do I want to go with this? Let's, let's talk about this since we're already talking about a little bit about NJF. Um, with the whole him and Regal situation, that whole swerve, which a lot of us probably saw coming. Um, that he was going to aid him. But what do you think about this? Uh, I mean, it kind of talks about... Um, sorry, I got spilled something over here. <laughs> what, are you talking about? what are you thinking about uh, Regal leaving AEW, going to WWE? Mostly just, I look like to coach his son, but now he's got like a VP or an exec VP kind of well, yeah, job but, over there too. But Yeah, I think the main reason is, I mean, he's not lying. I think he's he wants to go there because his son is there. And yeah, he yeah. will be able to coach him, no matter if he's just a trainer or a VP or what. Mm -hmm. And hey... Go back. if, Dude, if, if if Trips is fucking dangling a contract that's financially great for you and, yeah, you Here's know, what you, you want. Yeah. Why not? There's nothing wrong with that. He's it really good friends. Kind of out of the blue. But, hey, 
I'm not going to lie and say I knew that guy's contractual obligations, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I did hear, I thought, on some interview, I thought he I heard he signed for like three years, but he had an opt out after like so much time because he hasn't even been there a year. No, he's been there for like eight months, six months. Yeah. March or something like that. Um, Here's the thing. AEW has footage of him now on their product. They're brand. Uh, From what I understand, it's like a mutual, not necessarily a mutual thing, but like Tony's giving them the respect. Like, hey, you want to go back, do this? Great. He's, he's not going to be on TV for a year. No, but that was a good. That was good yeah. on Khan, though. Like, hey, I don't mind if you do this. Just don't be on TV for a year. Let's really sell this storyline. Which is kind of cool because they're kind of selling that storyline from AEW. It's trickling over to WWE because he can't be seen for a year. I mean, you know, if you yeah. think about it, it's... For the for the people who don't really know the inner workings, you know, and that the super marks, like the rest of us, uh, yeah, I get that. But at the same time, it's like, hey, man, it's business. The wrestling business. I'm going to say it like three or four times tonight. You know, what are you going to do? I, there's a lot of other the people that have left on way weirder terms, you know, so I don't mind it. You know, it's yeah. hey, if anybody wants to shit on it. It is what it is. People. Yeah, I was I was kind of I was, when I first heard about Regal leaving, I was like, are you serious? Like, how that's how I let, felt, too, because yeah, how could you like him up the, go? that group? And yeah, I kind of I like it, but yeah. I was kind of like, man, it's a, it's a I'm sick of them versus the Jericho Appreciation mm -hmm. Society. But then again, what do you do? You know? Each yeah, exactly. group's got like at least six guys or something. You, you know, gang well, warfare, it always works in wrestling. You got to right. do it, man. Yeah. Yeah, you got to. And then after I read what was going on and everything, I'm okay. I, I can see that. So I'm not too upset that he's leaving. But um, yeah, even Daniel Bryan's not even in the, or Daniel Bryan. Whoops. Brian Danielson's not even Come in on, the JR. fucking uh, BCC really anymore because it's just, they just show Claudio and they show Daniel Day Lewis and then they show, uh, I'm actually, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just killing Wheeler. Wheeler, you did. Wheeler, you're awesome, dude. Um, but yeah, they just show them three every time. So I'm like, is Danielson even in this anymore? Or yeah, I wish they just you know, out? They don't have to necessarily show them all together. No. Just know that they're a part of something greater than themselves, which is the yeah. Blackpool Combat Club. That's where they all come from. Yeah. You know, like you don't see fucking MMA guys that are part of a team. Do no, they never. Down scene together occasionally. America's top yeah. team. Yeah, but. Dude, they're not fucking, you know, how it is in wrestling. I'd like to see it a little more just real, presented like a real, like, stable faction, and they each do their own fucking thing, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, that would be cool. I'd be totally down with that. If you're going to keep it, and, I mean, it's kind of hard now. You're still the Blackpool Combat Club, and that's all because of Regal. And exactly. now he's gone, still going to use the fucking IP, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That's why I was kind of upset. I was like, damn, dude, like, all right. Here it is. Like, I'd like to see them in, like, the House of Black, you know? Yeah, speaking of the House of Black, dude, you see them on Dynamite when they came out and just destroyed QT Marshall. <laughs> hey, and you know what? Like, that's how, like, I think they should be booked like that almost every match. Like, I don't know if the bell rang or not, but it was, like, all of a sudden, Buddy Murphy was whooping ass on the outside of the ring. Brody King was whooping ass on the outside of the ring. Malachi Black is just chilling in the corner watching this, like, yep. This is going down, and then all of a sudden they get in the ring, QT Marshall shit in his pants in the middle of the ring, and then he gets kicked by Malachi. I'm like, just have this happen every time. I don't care who the tag team is or the trio. I'll just let House of Black be House of Black. And Julia, that She's was badass. Wrestling on, uh, she wrestled a couple yeah, times on Dark. She has. I like when she uh, stepped up like in front and looked at who I thought oh, was Nick Camarado. Yeah. She just smiled at Nick Camarado and then missed it, and I'm like, that's yeah. badass. I was like, hell yeah. Very cool. Very cool. She's got the carrying shines. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> she knows how to play softball. Yeah, yes, she does. Um, did you see that new ranking system they're doing? No. They finally got another about, ranking system. They're place? talking about going to a new ranking system, and I like it a lot more. And I got to pull up a uh, reference here because I can't think of this off the top of my head. I'm old. I smoke too much. It's about damn time, though, dude. I mean, they've like no shit the rankings eh? out the fucking window since August. Yeah. So instead of like wins and losses, they're gonna focus on like streaks and who they're beating. So I saw a little graphic on like what kind of they were gonna do, and I'll kind of read what they're thinking. Kind of like everybody else's then, because I think like TNA slash Impact has been doing it like that, and WWE they have power rankings that come out. It's just basically. It's the popularity of the booking, I guess. Like, whoever's over, you know? Yeah. I just, in a way, that 
I like it, but it does. I knew that they weren't going to fucking keep this, uh, the sports centric rating, you know, like going by the, the numbers, the wins and losses. I knew it. it was cool in the beginning, but man, it's like at the same time, they're on such a high level. They got to produce sports entertainment. Yeah. Not you just pro wrestling, to. you know, like it, especially if he's invested, I'm dude, I'm sure I don't know the numbers, but Tony's investing a lot of money in this shit. He has it. Yes. But his dad's also helping him fund it, I guess. Yeah. You, know, you got to see some. And- sort of positive returns or promise exactly you know? and i haven't heard anything uh bad from the network so i've just been reading positive stuff that they that they're enjoying it they're liking what they're doing and they're happy with the what they're doing out there um but yeah like here's an example of what they're thinking about doing like for example any male competitor Ooh. with a streak of five <laughs> wins can challenge streak of brown. for the tnt championship what about any male competitor with a streak of brown in their trunks? No, you can't they compete. No, you're gone. Oh. And then, like, any male competitor with a streak of 10 wins can challenge for the AEW Heavyweight Champion. And then there's, like, a Tay Team one trios, stuff like that. And it says in the event of multiple multiple streaks challengers, the champion has the right to pick their poison and choose a challenger. Stuff like that. So it's like, okay, that's cool. Um, it kind of gives you another story to build off of. Yeah, you know it's what I more mean? free. Yeah, it's, it's a little. Yeah, it's a little bit more freedom. Like yeah. you can't like remember the old ranking system. It's like, well, this person is ranked third, and this is their record. But yet, there's somebody that's not even ranked getting a f- title shot. Title shot. Yeah. Why? That, that, why? That's why they pigeonholed them. They put them back themselves into yeah. a corner because they weren't creative enough with that. You know. Right. Like if you're gonna do that, then you need to, I guess, acknowledge like records outside of the company, which you can't really do. But right. Uh, dude, I don't know. There, as long as they make it easier on them and give a ranking system of some sort, just fucking do it, you know? Exactly. Why not? Why wouldn't you do it? I miss Adam Cole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Oh, I said that earlier. I miss Adam Cole. I don't think... Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Concussions, man. That's bad. Concussions, you know, we all know how serious that shit is, and it sucks because he's... I, I mean, he's younger. You know, he's still, if mm-hmm. this didn't happen, I would think, fuck, he, he could probably go for another decade, you know? Oh, yeah, um, definitely. I it's, it's scary. I don't know. I haven't really heard anything other than he's, like, doing all right, I guess, but you don't. Yeah, but they won't, they can't clear him because of the concussion issues. Like, I, the last thing I read is, like, he's still got headaches and stuff like that and, like, some light sensitivity issues, cognitive issues like that. Um, Not really bad but they won't clear him because of that it's kind of like the daniel bryan dude i was at his there last go again. Match then, the dude. daniel bryan issue in wwe brian danielson yeah it's like him it's like Soraya. it up it's like you know yeah edge all these dudes, a, you yeah, know edge had the neck who else a lot a lot rvd rvd yeah when, rvd yeah uh he could have went and that. did another match like during the hall of fame was it last year or year before they put him in but they wouldn't clear him to wrestle because even though he had just been wrestling in Impact because of concussions, you know? Yeah. But I saw he's been doing all kinds of shit. He did uh he did Noah. Mm-hmm. He um he just wrestled this past weekend at uh there was a battleground championship wrestling, I think it's called something like that. Battleground yeah. wrestling. I'm botching their name, whatever, look them up. But uh <laughs> they did a tribute to the extreme and it was all these Dude, Shane Douglas, Francine. Yeah, uh, that was, shit was awesome. Gary Wolf, yep. Rhino versus RVD. Like, Fonzie yeah. was there. Sabu was there. Two former guests of the show, which yep. you guys need to go and check those fucking things out right Better now. Better go check it out. Yeah, not right now, after the show. <laughs> if you want to cut this one off and go, I won't hate you because it's still the brand. We interrupt this wonderful episode for a short word from our shoot sponsors. Check out Slowpoke Toys to see an ever-expanding collection of toys and collectibles. Treat yourself and get something for you. Need to get a gift for a special somebody, a buddy, a friend, a loved one, a co-worker? It doesn't matter. Visit SlowpokeToys.com, the manufacturer of toys and collectibles you never knew you needed. Yeah, oh. exactly. You're talking about botching that name. I keep botching Brian Danielson's name. <laughs> yeah, you do. It's all right, Jim Ross. It's fucking. It. Who cares? Yeah, it's, it's Jim right. Ross. But yeah, dude, it's scary. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with him. You know, it it may be a couple years, maybe whatever. It sucks. Yeah, yeah, I could. Dude, look at uh, uh, what about Kyle O'Reilly? Yeah, what do you have? Neck issues and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, he he might not ever go again. You know, who knows, man? 
Like that's that's a bummer. It's a real bummer, man. I uh, yeah, but I do miss Adam Cole. But I mean, if it's head issues, uh, concussion issues, you don't want to mess with anything like that. Play, no, you know, play it on the then safe stand side. by your woman and fucking be down the line. When you I would have, like to uh, see him come split. out with her. Yeah, have a manager. That would be What's cool. Like, nothing wrong with standing, you know, being behind a strong fucking woman, exactly. you know, exactly. Like, and you like you, Brit. Yeah, dude. Yeah, and then you can have uh, Jamie Hader come out and beat down Brit. Give a what's, chair shot to uh, Cole. What's the shit? concussion? <laughs> yeah, right. What's the shit going on about? Uh, so, you know, speaking of people not coming back. Yeah. Or quitting or whatever, or, you know, not being able to come back. <laughs> Dustin Rhodes is saying uh, yep. 2023 is his last year yes, in the ring. Yes, he is. That's what he's saying. He's saying last active year in the ring. Um, and he's going to call it quits. I feel like that means how – I mean, you don't really see him much on AEW so, programming too much. You I'll be honest with you, too. Motherfuckers got to take that blue fucking pallet. <laughs> that blue pallet is rocking. Now. I was like, get, get the fuck out yeah. here. Come on, another color. He's too fucking blue, man. Man, he is blue. He's a blue guy. I would – and, dude, I wish he would grow his hair out a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if you still can, and just kind of be back like back that older natural, like Jeff Dustin Rhodes. doing the last outlaw. Like that would be a cool that gimmick for Dustin, dude. That like, would be, but just still come out as the natural, you know. Give it that fucking end your career on that Texas vibe, you know, not the sports yeah. entertainment fucking shit. Yeah, and I think it's like his last active year. I think he might just do things here and there, but as far as being an active wrestler, yeah, I think that's yeah, what he done. means. Yeah, yeah, because he's still training too. He's got his. Oh yeah, he's still shit. coaching, training, and painting half his face blue. He's yeah, still got it. Half his face. Never wrestle Cody again. Yeah, don't wrestle Cody again. I went. Oh man, younger brothers that were better than their siblings. Yeah, we were good friends, but better enemies. <laughs> Remember that the old HBK diesel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Oh, that shit's awesome. Well, and you got Andrade now. That's out too. Oh yeah, his pec injury, injury, but. Even still, I think that dude's his trying contract. to get shit canned, dude. Yeah, I was going to say his contract's going to run out by the time he gets back. He's too busy blowing the money Well, out. I mean, they may, because um, I heard, like, Kenny Omega's contract ends in, like, February or March. And they might, but they've been advertised, no, January or February, whatever. But they've whatever. advertised them for matches, I guess, or something in March. So, mm -hmm. which essentially means they might, you know, all that time he was out, he might be making up some right. of that time. He could you know? be. It all goes back to business. Wrestling is a business. business. Yeah, <laughs> it totally is. Um, yeah, he hasn't been seen in a while, but then I saw he had a pex injury and he had a surgery. And now I know he's... Uh, he's got heat. He's, yeah, he's uh, spending all that Charlotte Flair money going to different countries, all the money that they could have paid Sasha, and they're just giving it to Charlotte. Mm. <laughs> no, they uh, gave it to Soraya. They gave it to Soraya. No, I'm talking about the E. The E could have hey, Sasha, come back. Sasha Banks, come back. No, nah, never mind. We're just going to play Charlotte Flair more. Yeah. But, dude, shout out to uh, our homies at World of Kayfabe, Nick Boone. Yeah. Who, Walk. Yes. Stagger Lake Crocker and fucking Dan the Man. Uh, I was on one of their last Walk. episodes. You guys check that shit out. Uh, we were, dude, we were fucking rapping about the same shit. I know. Dude. Yeah, you were. Was good yes, time. you were. Yeah, I think, uh, like, I don't know, man. Like, She's doing it for wrestling, that's, man. That's oh, what I sure. think. That's like what we were talking about. It's like, that's cool. Because you know she's such a huge mark for like Sorry. the sport of pro wrestling. Something huge Eddie standard. Guerrero fan. Now yeah. go leave your stamp in New Japan. Hell yeah. Start him. Eddie, Guer Eddie Guerrero fucking wrestled, you know? Yeah. But I saw it was like a per appearance deal thing. Yeah. And it could be. I mean, dude, she's worth so much right now to anybody Can't that can pay to have her that it's smart of her because wrestling is a business. I said three, four, five, maybe six times. It's always to, a uh, business. To kind of have all these options out there because it's not just yeah. wrestling now. You see her, I think, didn't she do some more Star Wars shit again? Um, That I don't know. Or I know she was at like some uh, promo stuff. She's Yeah, she's going to be doing whatever the red hell carpet. she wants. Dude. Red carpet so, shit. She was on the red carpet for Andor. I know that. Kudos to her for not yeah. tying down. And you know what? Exactly. If you want to make a stop in AEW... For like a By quick program means. on the way back, I wouldn't be mad. By all means. Everybody's doing that shit now. Do WWE with the Forbidden Door in New Japan Wrestle Kingdom? I just saw uh Carl Anderson um beat Hikaleo 
And then uh, he laid out fucking Tama Tonga, and he's like, I'll, I'll fucking be there, bitch, you know, like stung gun disaster. <laughs> yeah. Then they always have uh, the backstage interviews, you know, and they, they got like a six pack of Sapporo sitting there for the good brother. Yeah. And he's coming, he's talking. He's like, I, I'd like to thank, uh, you know, Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, and Nick Khan. And I'm watching, this is New Japan, you know, and I'm like, yeah. This is just, it's crazy to see, you know? It is. Like, it totally is, but it's good. It's good. It's good to it's see. It's good. The wrestling business needs to work together to they be do. healthy. Yeah. Because otherwise, we're going to be sitting here bitching about the project. And, you know, always. Always. Or the product. Always. Yeah, always. Um, But, yeah, you can't. I, like, I wonder what she's going to go by because you can't use Sasha. No, Probably Mercedes. Use Mercedes, yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. Just, just call yourself Mercedes. Mercedes Banks. Yeah, Mercedes Banks or Mercedes Dog, and she like Snoop Mercedes doesn't. Dog, <laughs> Snoop the Odell Mercedes, yeah. <laughs> Merc Merc Dog, call Merc her Merc Dog. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a horrible name. It is. That is a terrible name. Um, Next! Go, yeah, I was gonna say going back to Andrade. I I don't care if he comes back or not. Like he's a good wrestler and stuff. They're not really using him. Why keep him? No. Why Let have go Brian somewhere. Cage win the ROH Six Man? And then do a job on TV. Because it's Jungle Boy Jack. Yeah, I know. I know. But you could have Jungle Boy Jack beat anybody. But I get it. They want to build him up. But come on, man. I know. Shout out to Brian Cage. Yeah, I was going to say. does his job. If you're going to job him, he'll go out there. He'll do it. He'll make it look good. But, man, I would love to see him on a run somewhere else. I would love to. I would love to see him just title collector. Next, huh? Yes, sir. Well, uh, I know we've been talking about AEW. Just a real quick wrap up AEW, the best of seven series. Uh, it's fun to watch. Uh, Bucks, you know, are they going to tie it? Who knows? You know, they're going to have the no holds barred match, and then the seventh match is going to be the. It's cool know, because Escalada that one day. The best thing ever that they're doing right now, and this is why I mark out, this is the shit. Dude, NBA and NBC. Dude. Fuck yeah, that that's, that's the, the shit. shit, dude. Hell yeah, that's the shit. And they're playing it out like it's. And when you hear, like, you see, you watch the commercial and you hear it, you hear that iconic music. Um, and Tony Schiavone like going over, you know, the, yeah. it's the best of seven series between the Bucks. Yes. And, and I'm like, holy yes. shit, yes. that sounds like this is awesome. What yeah, they're doing right there, that's why AEW is special because they yeah. do shit like that. Um, Dude, I was losing my mind. You know, can they come back from this deficit? And I think how they're playing it out, it's it's almost like a basketball fucking storyline. It is. Totally is. A lot of NBA teams don't come back from a three to one deficit. They no. have to win. They they have to sweep now. And mm-hmm. you know who's good at sweeping? The cleaner. <laughs> I think that this was a great way to give them their mark my words to give them their fucking belts back with mm-hmm. you know and giving them the time to catch whatever heat they were going to catch. And figure that out and still make the Lucha Bros and Death Triangle look fucking strong. Yes. Because they've looked strong throughout the whole thing. Have they had to cheat? Yeah, but still it doesn't matter on paper. You're giving them character. Yeah. Absolutely. And they're up three to one. Yeah. And you want, you know, in the beginning of the series, you know, you have the fuck CM Punk chance. You go to Chicago, you have some fuck elite chance, fuck CM Punk chance. But if you. Now. Yeah, but it's t- it's at three one, and if you really want to get people behind the elite, have them come back from a three one deficit to win the belts, especially with Nick Jackson hobbled up. I mean, yes. come on, that's a yes. story you want to watch and you want to invest yeah. in. That's a story you want to sink your teeth into, and that's a story you want to just you know catch a kiss to when they yeah. win the series. See, and that's what brings AEW back for me to that. Like, you know, like, oh, this is the AEW I like. Like, that's yeah. great. They're like some of the best story great baby face storytelling. Everything else to me is just seems like it's all right, throwing together a wrestling show, you know? I see that, yeah. Yeah, you got to plant these little uh, story. Like, I love the Ricky Stark's MJF thing. Ricky Stark, unfortunately, lost, but I don't think I mean, he's worse off for it. No, he got a good show. Not at all. Dude. Plus, he, he had to get kicked in the balls for it to lose. Yeah. 
he got a world fucking title match for a yep. major promotion on a major television network. Not a bad showing. You know, I mean, come on. Not at all. Let's be honest. Who thought he was going to win it? I'm hearing rumblings anybody. now. I've heard certain people talk, and this can't be verified. So yes, don't any but take it with a grain of fucking salt. <laughs> What's uh, that? That they're not going to buy Punk's fucking contract out, and you know he will come back. So that way they can make nope. MJF the fucking. They want to make him a huge fucking baby, and the only way you're going to do that is by bringing Punk back, who's going to back, who's going to draw nuclear fucking heat. You know, he'll still get his cheers. His diehards are going to always be there. But as a whole now, instantly, if he does come back to wrestling, at least on the AEW side, he is the top heel. He's public enemy company. number one, man. Yeah. He's and in a lot of people's eyes. You know what? If, if I don't, like I said, that take that with a grain of salt. That's just some shit I read. Someone could have been talking some shit. It sounds really good. Do I fucking care at this point? No. Mm. But, hey, if anybody mm. can resolve their issue, work together, and be professional – then by all means, I'm for that. And it, it would create some interesting television. Yes, it would. You are. Yes. Absolutely correct, sir. It would make for great television. And I want to see that television. Yeah, but we'll see. But we'll see. Yeah. I don't like CM Punk. <laughs> but, I mean, come back and make some storylines make me believe it. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of AEW stuff going on. And congratulations to Action and Dreddy. <laughs> yeah. That yeah, was yeah, awesome, yeah. dude. I did not think he was gonna win when he would he uh, kicked out of that code breaker. I literally jumped up in the air. I'm like, holy shit! Yeah, I was like, oh, where is this going? I was like, he's not gonna win, but you're making great TV. What happens? You fucking guy wins. <laughs> Jaw dropped to the floor. I'm like, seriously? Yeah, is Jericho That's KO'd? Good. That's good. Did something happened? No, it was good. That's how you do something. That's how you uh, make a guy right there. Yeah. I guess Jericho had seen him wrestle because that dude was up from what? MCW? Something Maryland like Championship Wrestling or something like that? Yes, sir. And, I mean, he's good. You know, some people call him the <laughs> the wish Will Osprey, I guess. I've heard that thrown <laughs> around. Really? But we won't That's funny. There. Yeah. But, hey, man, wish Jericho, kudos to that guy, you know? Yeah, totally. Jericho Congrats. saw him and liked him, and they, I guess this was like, had been discussed for a while. It was just yeah. a matter of timing, like almost maybe a year or a couple of years or something, months or something. Whenever Jericho saw this something dude. like that, and uh, yeah, man, it, it was shocking for sure. I was sitting on my phone as soon as you know he went off the top or something. Jericho caught him, and he's getting ready for the walls, and he just looks like, uh, yeah, I've had my ass kicked the whole time, but I'm about to win, about to pull a John yeah. Cena. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> and then, yeah, and then it didn't happen, and Jericho lost. And I was like. Crazy, awesome. Good Crazy on you guys. I love one. That was fun. I love one. That shit. Fun. Reminds me of the old one, two, three kid, uh, Razor Ramon. Yeah, exactly. And that like, that's how you make dude. somebody. Yeah, like that's totally harkens back to that. So, um, yeah, man, like a lot going on in AEW. Um, what about some WWE? Yeah, what about some WWE? We should talk about the E. Definitely talk about the E. Have you been watching a lot of E lately? I mean, no. I've been paying but more I attention. I keep up with all their shit. I, you know, I mean, it's hard not to. I like, uh, they're just in Chicago for SmackDown. Yeah, they were. Um, it, you know, the Captain Howdy and the Bray Wyatt. And that was badass. Know, that's, yeah. It's pretty that was badass. Pretty fucking cool. It's like, good shit. LA Knight is the right LA guy to Knight's, have. Yeah, and LA Knight's the right hand to fucking yes. be in that, dude. Like, he just he sells everything great, and he's the talker he's, awesome. he's kicking the shit out of him yeah he Bray's just like kind of laughing he was too I'm like, told Bruce. you man it wasn't me yep it Uncle Howdy Uncle comes Howdy, man. i like that shit man i can't wait to see where this goes it's creepy i did hear here's for shooting I, from an inside source though this is real you can believe it or you cannot uh the guy who did uncle howdy in chicago that night for smackdown was actually just the guy who was uh who does all the masks Whoever does the mask for Slipknot and Bray Oh, Wyatt. yeah. Um, Scarborough? I, I guess. I don't know. I've heard the name no, like no, once or twice. The didn't stick. I, it might be that's him. what might I be heard. Kyle that's Scarborough. who was behind the Howdy mask there. Not was, saying that's who it's going to be, obviously. Right. you know. But. Right. That's cool. That's pretty dope. It'll probably be Bo Dallas. Yeah, I, yeah, I hope so. I it, hope so, too. I hope it's uh, been cool. I've also heard that... Uh, they're going to rekindle the feud when Cody comes back with Seth yes. Rollins. And I'm like, okay, cool, I guess. But it's like, I kind of want you to move on. I want him to move on to Roman Reigns. 
that would be the match I want to see. The Bloodline versus the Bloodline. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Bloodline versus Royal. Well, and it's cool too because if you get the you know the entrances and they're all Dicks. about like Dynasty, the Bloodline, all this. Mm-hmm. And I love Cody's like. <sighs> I'm not a huge fan of his song by any means, but it I sucks. do love the beginning where <laughs> <laughs> <it sucks. laughs> I love the beginning where it says there's more than one one royal family. wrestling family. Yeah, you know that part's cool. No, 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 no. Yeah. Suck me off. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> something, something, Cody Rhodes. Yeah, something, something, Cody. Shout to them fucking world of kayfabe boys again. Check them out. Yeah. <laughs> Nick was sick. Nick. He was throwing that shit out, <laughs> singing. <laughs> oh no! What are the words? I don't know. Something, something, Cody Rhodes. God, <laughs> downstate. What a what a Johnny band. What a wrestling right? rock band. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I I'd like to see uh, Cody back. Um, I'd like to see him come back and do some stuff with uh, um, Roman. I'd like to actually see him do something with um, Bray. I think that would be cool. But you know, we'll see what we'll see what happens. You know? Yeah, he could end up um, like Matt Riddle, suspended <laughs> for the suspended. second wellness policy yeah. violation. And ladies and gentlemen, they, they don't, don't test, test for, for marijuana anymore. No, everybody's so, smoking up in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Hell of a drug. Yep. You know. You know it was. Childlike apparitions on my TV screen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you ever see What's Eastbound and Down? You used to watch Eastbound, Eastbound and Down. Yeah. Do that fucking. <laughs> He's like. My dad went to rehab once for his knee. Well, in that case, I went to rehab for my nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I was losing it. Dude, that's totally. And it's crazy. And I just find out uh, that he's, I guess he's dating a uh, former XPW Misha. chick, Misha Montana, who's also a porn star and is also going to be appearing on this program soon. So, Oh, you heard it here first. Breaking news. <laughs> Spoiler Breaking alert. News. Yeah. The juice has been spoiled, but yeah, it looks spoiled. Coming Misha in 2023. Wants Misha to be on Montana. The juice. Misha wants to be on the juice. Came to us first. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Speaking of which, um, dude, I thought it was it was a shock, but I thought it was a great story. What's going on with Mandy Rose? Oh, God. Dude. I saw, yeah, and I, I, have I saw those them pictures. videos. I have I saw them videos. Pictures. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, eight ball like, corner hey, pocket. <laughs> Your floaties are floating away. Oh, those aren't floaties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um I understand why they had to release her. Yeah. I mean, there's hey, a lot, hey. lot of people that don't understand why. Hey. I, yeah. Bodie, I, I love you. And I had to cut you off for this because I told you guys it's Mer- it's Merry fucking Christmas yeah, time. But off. I was gonna say it three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. Wrestling is a business. Proceed. Well, wrestling's a business, but she was doing some business outside of wrestling and making more money. Um, a lot of people think that's why is because she was making more money outside. That's exactly why. I agree with that you statement one hundred percent because wrestling is a business. I think I think <laughs> some of that, but um, I read that it actually breached a contract that WWE has with all their talents with Mattel. I'm sure. I'm sure of that. Yeah. That. And I was like, well, if it's point, a toy company, yeah. It. Because yeah, it's it's, a, it's pornographic essentially, yeah, and they're not, exactly. dude. They have investors. Yeah, Mattel. You lose Mattel. You yeah, lose Disney, a shit. Ton Snickers. Of money. Yeah. No, Grant. Yeah, did you see the Rock? <laughs> he, yeah. bought, he used to steal all those Snickers. Yeah. <laughs> and he bought them all. Fucking. <laughs> and the Indian dude was pissed. It was Dwayne Johnson's yeah, was. in front of him buying every Snickers bar in this fucking store of every variation, and the Indian guys <laughs> were sitting there like. You really want me to do this? <laughs> like, no. And the Rock even made a comment. He's like, "Yeah, well, you know, so and so is pretty pissed because you got to count all those damn bars, <laughs> <laughs> right?" Uh, yeah, dude. I was like, uh, when she dropped the title, I'm like, "Yeah, that's why." And then all of a sudden, next day, it was like, "Mandy Rose released from WWE." I'm like, "Yeah, wow, really?" So, what does she do now? She probably has a no compete clause. Does she? Does she go and wrestle somewhere and keep on the name, not Mandy Rose or something else, but keep on with the with what she's doing, or do you just stick to like her private account, OnlyFans, and make? Well, money right that now, way? from what I understand, she was getting like five hundred thousand a month or some. That might be a way inflated number, but some ridiculous more money than ridiculous. her WWE contract for sure. And she's I mean, probably only making honest, like two hundred grand for and, WWE, yeah. If that. And, Dude, in in this day and age, especially if you're a fucking a, a good looking woman, 
There's a lot of fucking people you, out there. You don't even have to be that good looking. That want, if you're yeah, talking well, about only there's fans. a lot of people out there that want to see it naked for some reason. Or Somebody another, will want something. And they will yeah. pay for it. You know, like they'll pay to look at your toes. Yeah. Yeah. Or your used fucking gym shorts or your fucking smelly job. Right. Hey. Hol- holy boxes with the balls hanging out. Oh uh, yeah. I'll pay ten dollars for Ooh. that. Peter North Star. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Brown Star. <laughs> One and a pink and Merry and Christmas, pink. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Merry Mother. Oh, wait, I gotta save that for the end. Yeah, but uh, yeah, dude. Bow, bow, she, bow. she can live off that. Don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, and it's it's probably a better Before fucking sure. living. I mean, your body's not getting damaged, you know. But the question is, does she like wrestling enough? And uh, dude, I I know like Tommy Dreamer's already said some shit like Impact will fucking sign you, you know, like. AEW would, I know they would chomp at the bit, just oh, fucking yeah. sign her. You know, but it, th- once again, wrestling is a business. Right. Oh, I can't say it anymore. I do have to say it. Well, excuse me. Sorry. I got, I'm so gassy. Um, I do have to say, though, uh, if AEW signed Mercedes and they signed Manny Rose, that's all you need to sign. You're, you're done. Don't, yeah. you know, I think you start releasing people, you know, start releasing this gas. <laughs> yeah, you will like threaten. That's why it's not here. Right? You know, he's got you know, the butt flu. Exactly. You sign them, dude, and you get them in a hot program with you know Soraya and um Britt and then Jamie Hayter, and then you just have Abaddon come in and destroy everybody and take the title. They do have Abaddon. You have to sneak her in. Halloween's <laughs> over, Bodie. Get uh-huh. over Abaddon. But it's always Halloween with Abaddon. Yeah, I know. Me too. I don't mind her. They, no, I don't mind her either. They need to do. She's hurt though, isn't she? Yeah, she she like did something with her collarbone. It said fractured, but she's got to pop it in. She's like a fucking <laughs> living dead girl. No, nah, she's yeah. I think they got to put her on, man, because I've seen her dark matches. She looks good. She's doing good. She should be like the House of Blacks, like oh demon, demon dog, you know, or yeah. something like that. Uh, so when you fuck sick up, em. we send we send the fucking <laughs> sick him. Yeah. Jordos. Yep. Join so. us. <laughs> Join us. Um, dude, getting there was Bow also one thing. to me faithfully. <laughs> Bow to me splendidly. <laughs> like a wah, pack of Doral's. Wah, 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 Lendly, wah, wah. <laughs> wah. You guys in April. Hey, uh, what? What's up? What are you doing? WWE, say? though, I have been seeing some cool shit too that yeah. they're doing now. Um, if you go on, I think like the YouTube and shit. And maybe it's on their Twitter too. I'm sure they show these little YouTube? clips. Um, it's a show they do, like the "This Is Awesome" or whatever that's on Peacock. I think they're clips oh, yeah, from yeah. that. But where they're comparing, like the best game was it? You know, No Mercy or fucking WCW NWO Revenge, and you had like Cody. Oh and yeah, people talk about it, and then carrying. Carrying Cross, who's wearing the Pantera Cowboys from Hell shirt, <laughs> yeah, during the re- the fucking resurgence, <laughs> man. You hear the fucking yeah. bass? Yeah, you hear That's that, me. motherfucker? You hear the fucking bass? This one goes out to Carrying Cross, man. Dude, uh, but he's talking, and it's cool because he's saying something I would say, and that you would say, and that everybody in the fucking juice hole would say. Here, like, here comes the pain. He's like, hey, anybody, video game developers, WWE, this game, remake it. Do you not like money? Yes. It's a gold mine. You know, like, do it. Do what if fucking 2K23, they just for one year, they SmackDown went versus back. Raw. Yes. Yeah, something like that. And they went back well, here and did that yeah. game mechanics for one fucking year, gave us that game, and then kept it as. I like, loved Here Comes the Pain. Support the DLC, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I can't wait for the AEW game, Fight Forever, because that's supposedly going to be an Aki like engine. Yeah, and seeing the um, the blood, just some of the trailers and the blood and stuff. I'm like, this is like No Mercy now. You know, so like, much better yeah. though the trailers and promotion for it now than when Punk was on the cover. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm taking a, a fucking cheap shot. A lot better. The cover looks better. It was that, better that's all than you needed to do. Jack getting knocked the fuck out <laughs> his first MMA bout that he had this past weekend, dude. Sorry for ya. Dude, you guys can watch it on YouTube or uh, fucking UFC Fight Pass, but dude, he got a first round TKO against uh, God, what's the dude? Marlon something. <laughs> and I think it's funny because that motherfucker 
him and his agent like agreed to do this show and fucking ghosted me like hardcore ghosted us go- yeah. ghosted you the fans if he had any fans that were to listen who knows we might have got canceled because word on the street is he's a fucking deviant i don't know but now it's my time to talk a little bit of shit which we don't ever do and i just gotta <laughs> say you got knocked the fuck out man yeah talk that shit, technically dude. let him know yeah so that's all i gotta say about yeah that. me too I don't want to get too deep. We're not. We're no. not like that. We're not those people. Let's get knee deep, um, real quick, and uh, we'll get some circle poop. back to some wrestling shit. But dude, I just sent you a thing that I just found out about the three verse one uh, was asymmetrical horror game coming out in twenty twenty three. We're gonna be getting a lot of really cool horror games. What? You old horror fucking nuts out there, uh, dude. The Puppet Master game. There's a fucking Puppet Master game coming out. Yes, there is. I didn't know anything about it, but I. I'm going to shoot straight with you guys. I am going to try to get some of the devs on the show or the JP dub and see what happens. We and if we can get more info, because dude, Bodie, I know you're a huge fucking fan of the franchise. I'm I a love huge the franchise. Fan. I think I still have some broken so uh, retro puppet master figures when they were the wooden you ones. Uh, I got some of those, man. But um, dude, I'm so excited for that. And killer clowns. Shout out to John Masari. Yeah. I gotta try to get him back on the show. They uh they just released the uh like the theme music that's gonna be playing for that. Nice. You know? Very cool. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. I, I love Puppet Master. And if you can have a game like uh like um what's the Dead by Daylight? Yeah. If you can have something like that, that that's like awesome. Friday 13th and all these games. Dude, think yep. next year we get Killer Clowns, Puppet Master, and the Texas Chainsaw Master. <laughs> that's brutal. Like, dude. Come on, we already had Evil Dead this year. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was. Totally. Yeah, I can't wait for that because I really want to um, be torched and fuck some people up. Yeah, you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Now let's jump back into the wrestling thing real quick. Have you had a chance to check out the Teddy Hart documentary on Peacock? Yes. I've seen three episodes. and uh, <laughs> Was it Crime, Cats, and Cons yeah. or Cons and Cats? Uh, Something know? like that. Dude, it's a wild ride, dude. I knew it's, it was going to be, but once you get into the when you're in it and you're watching it, you're like, holy fuck, this dude. Like, this dude. This dude, like, holy shit. Dude, you know, the Hart family carries a lot of weight up here in uh, Alberta. <laughs> it's like, this jacket got me out of a lot of trouble. <laughs> like, we went to jail. <laughs> yeah. Everybody yeah. was cool with me because I told them I would train them. <laughs> I told them I would train them. No, this year is uh, my girlfriend. That, that's that's the case, boy. You just never know, you know, about, like, some people. Like, I met Teddy Hart at MLW, dude. And I met him. He was a nice-ass dude. He was so fucking cool, dude. He was really cool. He was... But then you hear so, shit, like, when he was with this the, shit. Was it Maria Manic, and they were doing that yeah. YouTube show, and then she was saying some shit, and then, yeah. you yep. know, Sam Fiddler, he's like, fuck Sam Fiddler. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? This, this <laughs> fucking broad is missing, dude. Yeah, exactly, dude. Like, that's crazy, like all that shit, and you know, very, very shady circumstances surrounding that. But imagine being the filmmaker doing all this and being yeah. caught in this, you know. And like I said, I'm only three episodes in, and um, while it's that's all there this, is, that's all there is. Really? I thought that's there was three. like four or five. No. Well, shit, man, I got to finish episode three. There's like 15 minutes left. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck I mean, is? it's it is what it is, but, dude. I, it's yeah, but he um. What was I going to say? Shit, I don't even remember, dude. It's the beers. The beers talking. It's good, man. I yeah, got you. It's he's good. uh it, it, it's weird because like dude, he's fucking God, he's such a blown potential, man. And you don't know like yeah, you meet is. these guys, and you don't know what the fuck's going on. Any no. of these people in their personal no. life, you know? But the one thing that I'll say is do I think he's guilty of her disappearance? No. I mm. I don't. Everything do it. I think he's guilty of stranding a girl that was an indigenous woman you know that wouldn't didn't have anything out here true he's guilty of abandoning her and her making the wrong choices which could have led to her disappearing because he might not even, he was nowhere even fucking around like she got no, out, the documentary wasn't. says she got out of jail and then that was it but then also she's like cutting her hair short and i mean teddy wasn't fucking like threat i wouldn't think he's not threatening her life or anything you know, like that. It didn't, see, it didn't come off that way, did it? No, it didn't. Not at he all. Was, and that's why he was probably like, I don't give a fuck. Because, yeah. Here's the thing. The thing I got out of it is Teddy, yes, is an asshole. He's a user and abuser. Do I keep He's all about numero uno. 
yeah, I don't think he's capable of murdering someone. I mean, eh, like I said, I, I, I'm i not straight involved. I don't know. I think that little bug is inside of everybody. But the way that doc was presented was he's a total piece of shit. <laughs> but, I mean, the other thing I'm wondering is why couldn't she just go somewhere and, like, to a government building and be like, hey, this is who I am, like, blah, blah, blah. Here's right. proof. Here's my socials. Here's call up the fucking Canada. You know, like, how do I get new shit? Yeah. To go back. Go, and, to, the, go to the police. Yeah. Or you just like, got out of jail, right? I mean, yeah. Hey. And there was some shit where I maybe she tried that, but didn't, but not really. It's just, dude, here's the thing. There's a lot of I weird shit a, around that. It is, but I do think it's like a fucking, it, um, I don't know. Like, a, I hate to dare I say slander piece. Cause yeah. it, I, I mean, but it does. It, I mean, and I get it. I mean, Teddy probably is a real fucking user and abuser. Like, right. as well, as it comes off that way. way. You know? I mean, he, uh, but he didn't kill anybody. I don't think no. he's responsible for anybody's disappearance. I think he's just like, Hey man, you know, whatever. I fucking left that girl, even though he took her passport. Like that's a dick. Yeah. Fucking yeah, that's a thing dick to move. Do, yeah. You know, but what wasn't a dick move. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't too. You know, I like when I'm watching it too. I'm like, this is good, but it's kind of cringe at the same time. Yeah, cringe worthy on his part. Yeah, about as cringe as fucking Vince McMahon wanting to come back. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, I got a hey, I got I got, sad I got bad advice. advice. I got bad advice. Damn it, let me pack. Yeah, bad They're advice. Wrong to step down in the first place. We're back. Oh, you forgot I had the code to the back door. I oh know. yeah. No lube. Yeah, I like that door. Uh, Back hey, door, man. Hey, Trips, my good son-in-law. You made some good additions. A lot of beefcakes. Yeah, but now they're fired. You're all fired. Triple H, see you at Christmas, pal, but you're fired. That's totally how, how the motherfuckers would be. Like, dude, no one wants him back. Dude, nobody wants him back. Not even his, like, yes-men want him back. Yeah, isn't it like... Bad, I was laughing about that. that well, I think now they'll be able to actually grow more, you know? Well, yeah. I mean, look be what A little bit now. of that un, untapped financial income, yep. you know? I mean, what, what do they need more money for, right? Wrestling is a business. Uh, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, they're working with New Japan, all these different opportunities to bring different eyes on your product. You're already global, but let's face it. At the end of the day, they want everybody's eyes in the world on their shit. Yeah, you, know? you got to. You and have they have to. the means to do it. Yeah, don't you're taking a step. You're taking forty steps backwards if you uh, let VKM back. If he came um, back, dude, that uh, could be the end. That could be would. the end, especially because it's cancel culture. Imagine, god damn it, it's gonna be twelve times. <laughs> a baker's fucking dozen. Let's go thirteen. Wrestling is a business, dude. Think of how bad the stocks would drop. Oh, like they would WWE drop. WWE stocks. If they would he drop, came back. Well, he's got two other lawsuits on his hands again, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it would drop. Everything would drop. People would leave. Nobody would want to watch. People are trying to find a way out of their contracts. Getting getting nude on camera, but you know what? You're just gonna get promoted. If <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm making promoted more fans. and I'm, I'm more money than my OnlyFans. Yeah, I subscribe. <laughs> damn it! Now you're promoted. You're champ. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Bodie, as we wind this fucking episode, yes, sir. As we wind this episode down, is there any other topic you got? In your head that you want to discuss real quick. Yeah. I'm about to take it to another level. Yeah, real quick. Um, I know it's not wrestling related or anything like that, but I do want to say I am really stoked for the future of DC films with James Gunn and Peter Sapp. Even though they fired Henry Cavall? Or they're, te they're telling different stories. Yeah, but I'm going to be honest. They're doing the same shit. They always, like Marvel always did. Let's reboot, rehash. We're going to tell a young version of Superman. Or a young version of Spider-Man. Like, man, we Fine all know the origin stories. Yeah, I don't want to see another origin story. I've seen origin stories of Fantastic I, I, Four I think twice, that's what and they do. couldn't get that right. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you do that. I don't need another Spider-Man origin story. We know how it happens. We don't need all this other stuff. What I like was how the Batman was presented. It's a younger Batman, one year into being the Batman. You do that with Superman, where he's one year, two years in being Superman and trying to be Clark Kent. That's a cool story to tell. But you can't, yeah. ha you can't have 48-year-old Henry Cavell playing a 21-year-old. <laughs> is he 48? I don't know how old he is, dude. He's but fucking he's, handsome. I don't care. He's a, he's a good-looking dude. Yeah. He's going to yeah. be doing something with That's Warcraft. why he's Superman. 
Warcraft. No, he's doing like Warhammer. Warhammer, yeah, that's yeah. the shit. That's gonna be cool. I'm, yeah, I've he's never a huge fan a, of that shit. Yeah, I never got into the game Warhammer really, but they got a lot of cool stuff in Warhammer. I'm not gonna lie. That's like that's like something I would want to get into, but it costs like five hundred and fifty thousand dollars just to buy one piece. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I play enough games as it is. <laughs> right. Yeah, but no, I'm I'm excited to see where this is going because they're just starting stuff over. I think you need to. And plus, James Gunn and Peter Safran are amazing storytellers, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be good shit. Just, oh, yeah. you know. Give me what I want! Whoa! Yeah, bring Lobo. Fucking bring Jason Momoa the... back as Lobo, not Aquaman. Oh, dude, yeah and, then, yeah. and then you can have Henry Cavill play like Hyperion or Ultraman. That would be the shit. Ooh. Him being Ultraman? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bodie's been thinking. Why wow, that Reefa been. been stinking. Yeah, now you're talking. Oh, yeah. Pass the good buds, good brother, yeah. because it's Christmas time. It is Christmas. Speaking of Christmas time, do I hope everybody has a great fucking Christmas? Uh, it's a good holiday. Unfortunately, it's the only time of year where people feel like they can actually come together and be nice, which is fucking a little weird. Whatever. Uh, weird. Celebrate how you do and be good to fucking each other. Be good to people. Make sure that you watch the Christmas essentials. For me, I got to watch Santa Slay. You know, I'm a horror guy. I got to watch the, uh, what is it? It's, I think it's like the first episode, first or second episode, maybe the third, the first season of Tales from the Crypt. Yeah. With the Santa Claus, the crazy, the guy <laughs> yeah, breaks out of the insane asleep. Where Crypt Keeper's wearing the Santa hat. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> That's great, dude. I You got to check that shit out. And, uh, dude, yes. I'm trying to think of, like, it, I you love gotta watch National Lampoon's Christmas Week. National Lampoon's, you gotta watch it. I mean, dude, I've I've watched it a few you heard times. It it's always on show. TV. Christmas <laughs> fucking story. Um, <clears throat> I checked out the the sequel, the Christmas story story, the sequel slash prequel slash. It was good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Is it going to be a classic like the first? Oh. Probably not. But it's it's worth checking out. Uh, you know, for all you motherfuckers that got families and shit. Mm -hmm. Um, but dude, other than that. Yeah, you know, I love just turn on the TV and there's like Gremlins 2 is on. Like, dude, it's a Christmas movie. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. And Die Hard's on three different Die stars. Hard. Bruce will tell you it's not, it's not a Christmas not movie. A Christmas movie. <laughs> from Bruce's lips himself. Yeah, from the lips of Bruce, straight to the juice. <laughs> he about to <laughs> threatens out because he had to deuce. <laughs> dropping, dude. We apologize, sleeping. ladies and gentlemen. Threaten couldn't be here tonight. No, nope, he's puking. The unsacred illness of hey, the gut. <laughs> the bowels of the cryptic stench. Uh, uh, but anyways. It reeks of putrefaction. Let me ask you this. I'm going to ask all you yeah, guys this you as you watch. What Everybody is listening it, out there? As yeah. we end here, Bode, I'm going to ask yes. you. Yes, ask What me. is the one thing that you could remember that you wanted for Christmas but you never got? Mm. That's and a hard one. To top it off, what are you looking forward to, or what do you think you'll be getting this year? Okay, um, you know what? I would have to say a, a pool table was something that I always wanted for Christmas when I was younger. Never got it though. I mean, when I was younger, I couldn't really understand why. But as I got older, I was like, yeah, there's really no where you're gonna put it, you know, for one. And what are you gonna cling them? I would use it because you know when I was younger, I loved playing pool. But yeah, when I was when I was a kid, like I was like, why don't I? You know, I would ask my mom and dad too. Like, we know you want a pool table, but never got one. But it's like, you know, neither here nor there. But you know, I was like, as I got older, I was like, yeah, that was probably outrageous. I'd have been like, where are we gonna put it? For one, do you know how much pool tables are? When I'm young, I don't know how much they are, but they cost a pretty penny. So, um, and the second part to that, what do I think I'm gonna get for Christmas this besides year? Besides coal. Yeah, you're going to get a huge. Sren's getting a huge lump of coal oh, right yeah. now. Sren's That's why he's got coal. the Sren's flu got because coal right he's been such right a now. piece of shit this year. Yeah, he has. Fucking guy. I love him though. He's a great dude. Yeah, he's awesome. Um, I think I'm going to get uh, the pre-order for Lightfall for Destiny too. For Christmas. <laughs> That's what I want. I'm a gamer. <laughs> the game I've been playing for seven years. <laughs> <laughs> there you go new expansion you go. new expansion want to know honey can you hear me can you... <laughs> sure you knows. Go. i don't shut up about it hey yo lightfall <laughs> expansion pack chico destiny 2 i go there i get on planets i give gods the razor's edge man they don't want to mess with this guardian man hell yeah <laughs> dude 
Uh, How about you? What about you, homie? What did you always want, and what, what do you think you're getting? I, dude, I always wanted a guitar as a kid. Hmm. I never got nice. it. No. Um, I did get a guitar, but this was like the worst Christmas present ever. It oh. was like not a real guitar. It was at the time. This is like, so this is probably early, mid-90s, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I got this plastic computer guitar that you plug in. <laughs> to the thing nice. the the whole fretboard the neck it was it was just like plastic strings that were on you couldn't there was no strings it was just a molding there was nothing oh, you yeah. could do with the neck it was totally fake and then there was like a little space that had these every string was the same there was no fucking different thickness you know it's like basically they were just sensors for this okay, computer yeah. bullshit where it's like oh we're gonna show you how to play like it in Pantera I think five minutes alone was on there but it was like a knockoff fucking version <laughs> and great. I was like I was so fucking pissed dude I was so pissed I'll never forget that because oh, like dude no. I just wanted a fucking guitar you know I just wanted a fucking guitar and I smashed the shit out of that goddamn oh, thing man <laughs> dude, oh. I was so so pissed it was such a piece of shit and all my friends got guitars around me and so they got like a i don't know it was probably like a three or four year head start on me before i actually had my first guitar you know oh man um so i was really pissed about that never got one but i do i mean i kind of know it to be fact um thanks to my old lady um shout out to her <laughs> lily e spoiling what uh my mother-in-law got me for christmas this year and her brother also spoiling it and you yeah. know He's like, dude, you're 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 the one taking the, the big guns home this year. I'm like, what yep. are you talking about? A bag of dicks. It off. And he's like, you know, you know, I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. But uh, I, I think I'm gonna be getting a, a left-handed Epiphone SG in Alpine Ooh. White. Bag of dicks. Big old dicks. That's what you're getting. That's so, sexy, dude. Gibson yeah. SGs. I've yeah. always wanted to get an SG. I have a Les Paul. Me too. A knockoff. It's it's Gibson. It is a Les Paul, but it's not those. Nine thousand dollar Les Pauls. It's like a five hundred dollar one. Yeah, still nice. It's got a natural wood finish. Black. Yeah. I just great. man, Les Pauls for me are always they're so heavy. They are so it doesn't matter what like Epiphones or whatever. And there's like there's some Japanese models that are really fucking good, dude. Like the we live in a good era where you can get a good like five, six, seven hundred dollar guitar, and you you don't need to spend fucking two grand. You know, no. like no, I think my so, uh, War Beast was like. 600 or something like that 650 been using that for years dude and it sounds like an absolute beast yeah i put emgs in it of course but oh yeah i think these um from what i've been reading it's like these p90s that come stock in this yeah um and who knows i mean i, I can't wait to check it out and just get comfortable with it oh, but for it's sure. the whole fact that like i bought my own my first guitar you know like this is like it's probably gonna if it ends up being what i'm getting it's probably gonna be like one of if not the best christmas gifts i've ever gotten nice it's 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 a total motivator Bunch too man I'm, to get back to fucking writing and finish some shit i had going and that's dude, cool it's a fucking sg so i'm looking forward there to you it. go so yeah hey i hope everybody out there has a fucking merry christmas yes. have fun We'll be back next week to cap it all off for you. To tell, to tell you about 2022. It's the year in review with the juice and Bruiser Bodhi. Gonna make hey. that body. Something juice. I can't rhyme it. That's why we <laughs> that's why we need what's his nuts. Enzo. Whoa, sorry. Yeah, Enzo. We need I'm him. Not a fucking rapper. You know, I'm a fucking death metal grind kid. I don't We're rap. not against rap. We're not Me against either. rappers. But we are <laughs> against all stocks. It's the biggest, rockest butt. <laughs> it's the darkest, darkest bone. <laughs> 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 yes, Man, I got down with some bone, dude. I love bone. Yeah, dude, the motherfuckers went bone. so fast, but they harmonized, dude. They were thugs in they harmony. Were awesome. Yeah, they were awesome. Still are, dude. They're awesome. You guys are awesome. You guys, Thank you guys. Uh, say Everybody, that. have a fucking Y'all's Merry awesome. Christmas. I love yous. Like, subscribe, share. Please support the show by yes. heading to prowrestlingtees.com forward slash JPWTs and buy any one or all three of our shirt designs. We good stocking stuff available in the store. Yeah, it's fucking great. Yeah, yeah it's a good great. Christmas items. I look good in them. Bodie looks good in them. Friend looks like a piece of shit, but yeah. you'll look good in them. Yeah, you will. Cut the sleeves off. Mm. Yeah. 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 Oh, all y'all out there are beautiful. I miss all of you. Sorry I can't be in the chat, but I'm working. 
And sometimes All right. you can't chat. Hey, in. we got much love for our motherfucking homies in the chat. And I hope more people fucking tune in and chat with us. We try to be there every week. If we can't, we can't. But you know what? Chat amongst yourselves. Talk yeah. some shit. Talk about how silly Threaten looks when he's not on screen. Yeah, that mother motherfucking piece of shoe. Hey, anyways, anyways. I'm not going to drag it on any longer. Thank you guys so much. Like, subscribe, share. And until next time, I'm going to change it up a little bit tonight for the holidays and keep it a little yes, festive. <clears throat> Merry motherfucking Christmas. Merry motherfucking Christmas. Merry motherfucking hey, Christmas hey, and have a fucked up New Year. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. You gonna do sex to me? Did you like that video? If so, be sure to hit like and subscribe and check out more killer content from your boys at Juice Pro Wrestling. Whoa, yeah!